We're asked to identify a factor pair of 66 for which the sum is 17. Go ahead and grab the 66. List all the factors in a systematic way. I encourage um, go 1 times 66. 2 goes in there 33 times. 3 goes in 22 times. 4 won't go in because 33 is an odd number. I can't cut it in half. 5 won't go in. 6 goes in. You could cut 22 in half, or you could just realize that 6 times 11 is 66. Uh, 7, you just have to try it in your mind, but 7 won't go into 66. 8 won't work. Um, and if you're not sure, just try the long division. Try 8 into 66. 8 times 8 is 64, so clearly that didn't work. Uh, 9. Uh, and again, you could, you could just try it on your own. Um, see if 9 will go in there. Um, 9 times 7 is 63, so that's not going to work. 10 definitely won't go. When you get to 11, you've already covered that. So as these numbers get larger, these numbers get smaller. When they meet, you've listed all the factors. Now we want a factor pair. Uh, technically, I should put dots here, okay? Because these would get multiplied. This gives me a 66, 66, 66, and 66. Um, <clears throat> for which the sum is 17. That means I'm supposed to add these two together and get 17. That won't work, that won't work, that won't work. But if I had a positive 6 and a positive 11, I would get 17. So the factor pair of 66 for which the sum is 17 is 6, 11. Okay, well, slipped off the paper a little there. If you have more questions on this, there are. Uh, I, I posted a video. Under Unit 1 Worksheet and YouTube. And it's the second thing on that list. Video Introduction to Prime Numbers, Prime Factorization, Multiples, Factors, and Factor Pairs.